Hey YouTube! <laughs> How's everybody doing today? So I'm actually sitting in my new furniture piece already. I'm not gonna show you anything yet. I just wanna everything to come in and then I'll do like a little tour right after. But so today, oh, don't forget about the giveaway that I have going on. So once we reach 500 subscribers, I'm giving away um a hundred dollars all you need to do is subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on instagram i'm going to leave the link below so don't miss it and you know take advantage of this opportunity but anyway i just wanted to jump on here because i've seen like and i've heard a lot of people trying to study like a new language and they've been struggling so much especially you know some even some older people like obviously this time it's getting it's getting harder and harder to um to learn anything actually anything yeah actually anything new but you have to keep exercising your mind to stay um to stay quick to stay sharp and to stay you know smart even this age so since i did um started studying english when i was 18 actually and i just wanted to share with you guys a few tips on how you can study um, a new language and you can honestly i actually know a guy he's in his 40s and he's like a big businessman and he's a big traveler all over the world and what he does, he actually, and he loves learning languages. It's like a hobby of his. And then he, um, yeah, so he shared like a little bit, um, a little bit of the secrets that he been using. But basically, once he go to different country, and he doesn't like to stay in one country, right? So he always, he will go to different countries all the time. And then he would study like a language for like a week or a month. And then, you know, live there for like a few months and be so like, you know just be able to leave and explain yourself and understand others anyway and plus i'm learning english so let me tell you like what my best experiences were first of all the worst the worst experience that you can do is just sitting at home there's a study book and just learn try to memorize every single world because word because when I was, oh my God, when I came here and I started studying, um, started studying English, I wanted to learn it so much because I started to get, you know, like friends and we started to go out and things like that. And I wanted to explain myself because I felt like, you know, I have such a character, such a personality, but I wasn't able to express myself. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, guys, I wish I knew I can speak. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so studying like and i used to like get so mad that i would start studying um like i would start to start to memorize try to memorize like 50 words a day and then like cry every night in front of my like books and stuff because i was like oh my god it's so hard i will never be able to do it blah, blah, blah. and guess what i'm speaking it now <laughs> but anyway so the first the most efficient one is obviously get into the environment once you are in an environment and don't go um like don't there are so this is what i did right when i came here i just first of all i immersed in american environment where everybody would speak english around me and i started to eliminate anybody who would speak russian to me obviously like when my family would speak to me and stuff like that on the phone but i started illuminating people and i was like well no i'm sorry like everybody was like are you russian i'm like no <laughs> in the beginning because i wanted to like i wanted to like pass that english test that i had that i was preparing for so i'm like let me just get it and then after i'm like surprise i am russian <laughs> so anyway this is the best thing because once i started like going to parties and talk to friends and like hear them talk it was just like i don't know it was it just getting it was getting more and more natural like at first of course like i was shy at first i was like oh my god i don't know if i'm ever gonna be able to learn it but like this time it got so like good that i was like wow like and then in fact and it happened like pretty fast too so but that's the best way and that that's honestly you know sometimes it's not possible like some people just want to learn in like different languages because they just do. They just want to like uh, get a job in a different country or be multilingual where, you know, it's more beneficial to have like an international jobs and stuff like that. So 
uh, but they're not able to like go to a different country and stay there for a while. They are in their home country and they have this like big opportunity, like for example, go to and work with China. And it's like, you want to study English as soon as possible so you can handle those, um, like, you know, transactions, like business transactions better. So the best way is to emerge, honestly, but obviously not everybody um, has that opportunity. So the another next best thing, I have three. So the na another next best, best thing is actually what my friend, that businessman that I told you about in the beginning, that he does. So, and he, again, he knows like, I think it's not even eight or seven languages. I think he knows 11 languages. And he does business all over the world. So it's just, you know, so he's able to express himself. Like, obviously, you're not going to be able with, like, this much of a study. You're not going to be able to go and just get a, I don't know, doctor. So, like, obviously not. <laughs> but you are able to express yourself, explain yourself, understand yourself, and handle business if you are interested, like, you know, international jobs. So, okay, so the second best thing best thing is watching cartoons and start with subtitles by the way in in the in the um at the bottom the best way so don't start with movies because they are like especially if you're starting from scratch and you just started um studying like a new language start with um these cartoons because they're so much easier to understand you know and so much easier to um they don't have much vocabulary and then and do subtitles obviously so you can read and you can understand like the spelling of the words like that was the best thing and i like that too and they used to start with like cartoons and that's how you know i was like oh my god <laughs> so yeah I, I was able to understand it faster that's one and then once you like good with cartoons and you're ready to to move to like more vocabulary to ready to move to more um to more opportunities and to more what is it called i forgot <laughs> no i'm sorry people just <laughs> they can't wait <laughs> um yes yeah, so they are able you're able to speak like you know faster much faster and you have bigger vocabulary and you want a bigger vocabulary move to the movies all right so that's the best second best thing and the third best thing those are the one for if you're actually trying to get into an international university of a different country and you want to be able to speak, write, or be able to listen, be able to read, you know, those books and then analyze it fast is the best way. If you are not able to travel, again, traveling, like going to another environment and immerse yourself is the best thing. But another best thing is actually finding a school or getting yourself a native language um what is it called tutor for the language that you're trying to study so basically you like for example i'm, I'm trying to like i love french like i love french language i don't know you know <laughs> i just do so um in, if I decide to ever study it which i i am planning on <laughs> and spanish by the way um I would like, I would give myself uh, a French native tutor where they were born in French, they speak French. So, because that's the best way you're going to um, be able to get the best accent and the best everything. Because I remember when I used to go to school in Russia, we had um, English, you know, as a class that we had to take actually. And now, and then, you know, like our teacher sounded so smart and so like, you know, <laughs> like, you know, you couldn't just even think about, but like, once I came, once I went to America and I came back and actually my sister used to go to the same school. So one day I came back to like visit my sister and I was like, oh, let me see my, um, my English teacher. And then she loved speaking English in class. So I was like, ooh, let me test her. So first of all, she didn't even recognize me. But second, I was like, you know, I want, I came in, I started speaking English. He would not, she would not understand me and I would, could not understand her. So I was like, even like the structure of her sentences were like really off. So I was like, wow. <laughs> I thought you was good. I thought you was the English teacher. What happened? I mean, I didn't tell tell her that, but I'm like, I thought about it. I was like, wow. 
So the best thing, but she was Russian. She wasn't like English or never been to like, you know, any of that. She was just, you know, got an A in her school for English class. So now she decided she's going to study it. But anyway, so get a native um, speaking person, like of the language that you're trying to um, study and trying to learn, because I feel like that's going to be the best way to help you um, to get that. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to share my few tips uh, with you guys. I know that like, you know, not everybody is like thriving to know languages, but even like, you know, some people like, oh, I want to study Spanish and blah, blah, blah. So try those things like if you really like i know in america what is it like spanish are, are probably um speaking people almost as many as the english speaking people and um not all you know spanish or or english speaking people know each other language but there's a lot of like businesses opportunities between them so i'm like well you know this is a tip <laughs> that you can use <laughs> But anyway, guys, so I'm oh, by the way, I'm about to go to a storm. So a few weekends ago, I tried making this pa pasta and I feel like I'm like the queen of this pasta right now. <laughs> it just came out so good. I was like, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so it's a seafood pasta. Um, and it's just oof, like the sauce, like how... <laughs> so i'm gonna record it i'm gonna record this video in russian right now because i know like russian um people they actually love studying like different languages it's just you know just indication of how smart you are sometimes and they like to show that off so <laughs> i'm like let me give them some tips as well but anyway and once i'm done i'm going to store and i'm cooking 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 <laughs> But anyway, th so thank you so much for watching. This was fun. Don't forget about the giveaway. Go back to the beginning if you forgot what the giveaway is. And participate. And see you in the next video. Bye.